started training uh, in 2007, August 2007, so it's been now almost 10 years. Uh, I was 13 years old when I started. It's weird because you feel it at different points in your career, like six months in, I felt, wow, I'm freaking getting this. And then you go eight months and you look back two months ago, you're like, man, I was an idiot. And then you go a year later, you look back to six months in, you're like, what was I thinking? And now I'm five years in looking back and I go to OVW at that point, I'm like, Man, everything I did two years ago and six months ago and six days ago was just not right. And then you go on now where I am 10 years ago and I look back to, you know, for me it's looking back to when I was a kid now or when I was a teenager and it's like, I see, I should have done this, I could have done this, I did this right. Without sounding cliche, a lot of the guys who get into this forget that we don't do this for us. Yeah, we don't pay for the shows. You know, we get paid for the shows, but we don't pay to watch the shows, that's the fans. And a lot of these guys think that what we're doing is an art for us. But to me, the void is, it's an art for the fans. And to hear, you know, to see a kid smile and take a picture with me after and say, you're my favorite wrestler, that's the void I want to fill. Mm -hmm. And that's the void I get, you know? And uh, like I said, this isn't for me, this is for love, you know? And that's the high I get. It's funny because I always wanted to be the Chaotic Wrestling Heavyweight Champion, but it just, 10 years has gone so quick that I feel like it's the perfect time for me now. It's been such a crazy ride, but like I said, 10 years has gone by so quick that I think if this happened six years ago, it would have been too soon. So I really do think it's the perfect timing now, yeah. You know, honestly, it's it means a lot because the guys who have held it before me were the guys that have helped me get into this business, you know, like Hanson Johnny, Warbeer Hanson, Brian Malonis, and, the, and Brian Fury, of course. You know, growing up and training around those guys, I'd go to class every week, every day, and those guys would be, you know, they'd have this championship. So for me to have it now, it's almost like everything's gone full circle. I want to be remembered as, I mean, I hate to say it, but the greatest champion of all time, but I want to be remembered as the guy that made the fans go crazy, you know, the guy that gave the fans what they wanted to see. Uh, I don't want the fans to go home sad or upset. I want the fans to go home happy every single night that they come here because that's why they come, you know? Yep. They pay to smile, and if they, if they smile when they walk out the door, then mission accomplished. I want to tell anyone that wants to come after my belt that you may think you're hungry, but let me tell you something. I'm as hungry as they get. I've been doing this a long time. Like I said, I've been doing this since I was 13 years old. And uh, a lot of guys will do whatever it takes to get a shot at this, but I'll do whatever it takes to walk away with this. Cool, brother. Thank you for your time.